so my great granddad came from Odessa um, in Russia or Ukraine. Um, there was a wave of uh, Jewish emigration to the UK at that time. And he and others like him were smoking salmon because it was a way of preserving fish. And it was something they were familiar with. And in the very early days, he didn't even realize there was a salmon native to Britain. And it was only when he went to the fish market at Billingsgate and saw these beautiful wild salmon coming out from Scotland and thought, why don't we just use the local fish? It'll be a lot easier. And he started smoking the Scottish salmon and the product was just so amazing. People fell in love with it and it took off. And I would say that smoked salmon and what we today refer to as London Cure Smoked Salmon became Britain's first ever homegrown gourmet food. We are literally doing every single step of it by hand. We're hand sort of splitting the salmon, chopping the head and the tail off. We hand salt it, we're hanging the fish on racks, we're taking all the every single little pin bone we take out with a pair of tweezers. We hand slice it, we hand pack it. And that means that you have an expert at every single step of the way, quality controlling the product. We lose about 20 to 30% of the weight of the fillets just by taking out all that moisture to preserve the fish. But when you're selling fish by the kilo, if you can sell water for the price of salmon, it's very good business, but it makes, makes the fish very slimy. So a lot of modern producers now try to keep the water in, but that's not how smoked salmon is meant to be or how it, you know, it should be. You know, there are two ingredients, salmon and salt. That's it.